The eruption was hydrothermal, not volcanic. Yellowstone sits atop a supervolcano, which heats and acidifies underground water reservoirs. These subterranean chambers, under high pressure, can heat water well beyond the boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius, 212 Fahrenheit, at sea level, sometimes reaching up to 250 degrees Celsius. This superheated water can rapidly turn to steam, expanding and causing explosive eruptions when it breaks through the surface. Hydrothermal explosions are relatively common in Yellowstone due to its unique geological characteristics. The park's supervolcano heats underground water to extreme temperatures, creating conditions ripe for such explosive events. While these eruptions are not volcanic, they are a powerful reminder of the dynamic and sometimes unpredictable nature of Yellowstone's geothermal features. The incident at Biscuit Basin serves as a reminder for visitors to remain vigilant and adhere to safety guidelines while exploring the park. Yellowstone's geothermal activity is a key attraction, but it also poses potential hazards that must be respected. In conclusion, the hydrothermal eruption at Yellowstone's Biscuit Basin was a spectacular yet non-volcanic event, highlighting the park's unique and sometimes volatile geothermal activity. Despite the dramatic nature of the eruption, no injuries were reported, and the park's geological features continue to captivate and intrigue visitors from around the world.